Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the elect brothers out there doing the work of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right? Now, I'm going to make this a quick lesson, Lord willing, updating brothers on an article that I came across. And it says here, California Christians must now register Bibles as assault weapons. All right, now we know the state of California was going hard about, you know, banning the Bible, you know, because of its, you know, um, its, um, its content. Well, basically because of the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father has set up. And this kingdom, as we know it, America, Babylon, is contrary to the Bible. All the law, statutes, and commandments that the Heavenly Father have set up, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, have gone against it by establishing his own ways. All right, so here, this is the article. It says, California Christians must now register Bibles as assault weapons. Now, this is ridiculous, all right? This is ridiculous, and this is just further showing you what time we're living in. We're living in a time of prophecy. We're living in a time of the famine of the word. We're living in a time where Esau is going to come down with great wrath, all right? And Lord willing, I'm going to read some of this article and um, bring out some precepts. So... Here, here, you say, here it says, um, Sacramento, California, in a blow to believers across the West Coast, a new assembly bill signed into law by Governor Jerry Brown Tuesday will require Christians in the state to register Bibles of all shapes, all sizes, shapes, and translations versions as assault weapons. All right? As assault weapons. So if you have a Bible, all right, if you're calling yourself believing in the Bible and you have a Bible, you know, according to what this bill is, is saying, you will, you will have to register your Bible, your Holy Bible that you have. You have to register as an assault weapon, all right, as an assault weapon. And this is Esau's way of trying to to um, bring in the famine of the word, all right, which is spiritual in a sense, too, because when you read, uh, what is it, the book of Hebrews? Let me see. Let me get it real quick. Well, yeah, Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of souls and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is discerning of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So it says, for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So spiritually, the Bible is a weapon, all right? It's a two-edged sword. It's a weapon. It's a spiritual weapon. All right, and the reason why they're trying to do this over here, they're trying to register the Bible, you know, um, or have Christians register the Bible as an assault weapon is because they're trying to ban the Bible because they're being cut. All right, Esau, all these proud Edomites, all these proud Edomite devils that you see here on the screen, they're all, you know, cut by the word of the Heavenly Father. They're all being cut asunder into pieces, into shreds by the Lord, all right, by his word. And by his prophets, because the prophets are the ones that are bringing out the word of the Lord. All right, the prophets are the one. Really, this is this is all targeted towards the Israelites, man. All right, because Christians they don't they don't go into the scriptures like the Israelites do. All right, the the real Israelites. All right, the only Israelites. Okay, the men that the Most High have raised up in these days and these day and age to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom. All right, this is geared towards us. Because we use our Bible as spiritual weapons. So let me read that again. Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. So this is sharp. This, this is sharper than any weapon that Esau will have people register. All right. This is, the, this is sharp. This is that weapon. This is destroying you Edomites, man. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of souls and of the joints and marrow and discerning and the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the hearts. All right, now these people's hearts are wicked. All right, that's why they want to ban the Bible. And it's all according to prophecy. So let me read Let me read this again. Sacramento, <clears throat> Sacramento, California, in a blow to believers across the West Coast, a new assembly bill signed into law by Governor Jerry Brown Tuesday will require Christians in a state to register Bibles of all sizes, shapes, and translation, translation version as assault weapons. All right. So if you don't, then I guess you'll be charged, you know, carrying an assault weapon and whatever penalty they're going to 
you know, have abide with this um, new law is going to be the penalty, which is all spiritual. It says, many national public safety groups and political action committees praise the new law, saying that it will foster safer and more tolerant communities and save many people from having to hear words that conflict with their own worldview per, per, per excuse me, presuppositions. All right. Now, what does that tell you? That these people here, they don't want to hear the word of the Lord. In a nutshell, they don't want to hear the word of the Lord. All right, because, you know, you we bring out, you know, laws, statutes, and commandments. We bring out the judgment on homosexuals and sodomy. All right, it hurts. It cuts these people. It cuts these homosexuals, man. All right, they, they might act like they don't they don't feel any way about it, but in deep inside their spirit, they're cut. All right, they're cut. That's why it's saying it's going to bring forth safer communities, you know, you know, save people from having to hear words that conflict with their own worldview, presuppositions, all right? So it says, really, this bill should be implemented nationwide, which eventually they're going to try to ban the Bible worldwide, you know, bringing a famine worldwide. Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. It says, behold, the days come, save the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. Now this truth, the word of the Most High is compared to bread and water, all right? The bread of life, all right? And, if, and, 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 and um, rivers of living water, all right? So the bread of life and the rivers of living water is going to be in a state of famine because the word of the Lord will not be published the way it's being published now. All right, it's going to come to an halt. It's going to come to an end. All right, it's going to cease to be pushed the way it's being pushed right now. And that's all lining up with prophecy. That's why, you know, scriptures say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, while the evil days come not. All right? So it says the famine, all right, um, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, now, if this thing is implemented the way they're saying they're going to implement it, that means the brothers out there in California... All right, when they're using the Bible in the streets, guess what? Esau is going to charge, will try to charge them with assault um, for having an assault weapon, if that's the case, all right? Now, if it does happen, guess what? That's also a prophecy as well. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And Esau is looking for any and every reason to cast us into prison. All right, that's why all these all these allegations, false allegations, accusations, and slander that these scoffers come with, you know, it's clearly a lie because if it was the truth, Esau would have been had us. But Esau is looking for a crafty way to actually, you know, so-called legally try to, you know, um, apprehend us, all right, put us in, um, in, in prison, all right? It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, because we're going to be tr we're going to be thrown into these prisons. Some of us will be thrown into prison. All right, but you know what? Hey, we thrown into prison, count it all glory and joy, because I'm going to bring a precept out that's going to show you that the men of the Lord took it joy when they got cast into prison, man. You know, now, if Esau is saying, well, listen, you got to stop preaching the word of the Lord and da 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 whatever, whatever. Listen, we're going to do what the Most High commanded us to do, man. All right? We're going to do what the Heavenly Father commanded us to do, and that's what we're going to do till Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, starts, you know, makes his move, man. All right? So it says that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. 10 days meaning, you know, a complete amount of days. It could be any amount of days, not just actual 10 days. It could be one day, 10 day, a week. You know, however long the Most High see fit to try your faith. It says, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, so this is just another way Esau is going to try to, you know, throw some of us into prison, ban the Bible, and, and bring in a famine of the word, which we're well aware of that, you know, these Edomites could do what they got to do because we're doing what we got to do according to, the, you know, the truth and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And this sa it says, again, really this should be implemented nationwide, all right, Pro um, proclaim freedom from religion, co-president Dan Baker. California is blazing the trail for civil rights once again as the rest of the country lags behind. There is just no place for these dangerous assault Bibles 
in a civilized society. This isn't the wild, wild west anymore. Now, if you when you're reading this, this actually sounds like a joke, all right? But this is this is fact, all right? Esau is really trying to come down on his Bible. He's really trying to come down in his truth, all right? And yes, again, the Bible according to Hebrews 4, all right, is an assault assault weapon, all right, a two-edged sword, so to speak, all right? You know, so-called assault weapon, but a, a two-edged sword as the scriptures say, okay? All right, and this is not a civilized society. There's nothing civilized about two men getting married and laying with each other, you know, having anal intercourse and all types of wickedness and then adopting a child. All right, there's nothing, there's nothing civilized about two women carpet munching and rug humping, all right, and adopting a child. That's wicked, man. Most High is not with that. All right? Let me read, let me read some more. It's not much left. It says, Already known to have strict laws restricting the sale and possession of assault weapons, this will expand the definition of assault weapon to include any Bible, Bible book quoting significant portions of the Bible and even the dreaded high-capacity study Bibles in which combine the scriptures with commentary creating an even more devastating assault of truth. Hey, man, Esau got to go, man, all right? <laughs> Esau has got to go because you, you, you have some commentary Bibles that that are actually or commentary um you know you can find commentaries on the scriptures that are actually you know you know spot on on certain things all right whether it might sound appeasing to the the average person or not you know i'm not saying everything all right but on some things they're spot on all right now the ultimate commentary is when we do these videos these epistles and we read the scriptures and we commentary aka break it down all right this is what they're trying to stop. All right. It says the official definition of an assault weapon will now be read as any weapon that has a pistol grip that protrudes from the bottom of the stock, a detachable magazine or a double column alignment of dangerous words that cut and pierce sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of soul, spirit and bone and marrow. Now we just read that. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12. All right. Let me read on. It says, these deadly study Bibles can spit out 30 or 40 verses per page. Uh, you hear that? They sound like they just, they just making mockery right now. All right. And then explain the historical gram grammatical context and uh, the exegete to the text. Governor Brown explains to the reporters after signing the bill, it's 2017, for goodness sake, can you believe that these religious religious wackos think that they can just open carry Bibles in public spaces where young children and free thinkers are present? Now, who's out in public spaces with Bibles and reading them? The prophets of the Most High. I right, forget about these Christians. That's just a cover-up. They're not going to outright say Israelites. All right, and it says... In public spaces where young children and free thinkers are present. Well, guess what? Nobody's saying that when a, tran when a transsexual, tranny, transgender, cross-dresser walk down the streets with, with rainbow hair, a basket with flowers, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, um, a damn tutu, you know, ballerina outfit, man. Nobody got nothing to say about that. But when you bring out the word of the Most High, it's, it's, it's dangerous, right? It's all hell. It's wicked. You know, it's the worst thing ever. It says spiritual people aren't having their rights taken away. That's just the right wing alarmist trying to scare you. New age books will still be readily available in book retailers across the Golden State, he added. Now, let me get the scripture, Acts chapter 5, verse, I started, um, I jumped to the point, 29. This is when Peter and other apostles were arrested for, for preaching the word, you know, in the synagogues and, and teaching the word of the Most High. It says, then Peter... This is after they got out, all right? It says, then Peter, matter of fact, yeah, this is after they got out, all right? There was, um, the Most High got them out. You know, if you read up above, I believe this was the case when the angel, yep, it says, but the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth and said, go stand and speak in the temples to all, to, to the people, all the words of this life. All right, so that, that was the story. And then when you read down, it says, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. All right, we are under strict commandments of Yahweh Shemiah Shah until he 
you know, gives us further notice. All right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, who, who, where, even we call God in Jesus Christ, it says, the God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him had the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins to who? Israel. Yashur Allah. All right, that's it. So reading on. It says, We are his witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Spirit, whom the Most High hath given to them to, to obey him, that obey him. When they heard it, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. All right? Now, these people, these councilmen, all right, these higher ups, they're cut to the heart because of the word of the Most High. All right? We don't show these Edomites no respect. All right? When it comes to the word of the Most High, when it comes to, you know, whatever, we don't show these Edomites no respect. We don't, we don't spare them. All right? Scriptures say, um, spare none. All right? Lift up thy voice like a, tri um, like a trumpet. All right? So we lift up our voice like a trumpet and we, we bring out the cold truth, all right? The cold truth, all right? The hot, cold truth, you know? Straight up and uncut and raw. We don't care what the elites think or anybody, man. You know, so they cut to the heart. All right, it says, Then stood there up one in a council, a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a doctor of the law, had a reputation among all the people, and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space, and said unto them, Ye men of Israel, take heed to Take heed to yourself, to yourselves, what ye intend to do as touching these men. All right, why? Because those are men of the Lord. All right, for behold, for before those days, rose up Theodos, boasting himself, Thaddeus, boasting himself to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined himself, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. Now I'm gonna end it on there. All right, the point there was. When Peter and the other apostles said they ought to obey the Most High rather than men. All right, now, we under strict commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to preach the word, be instant in season and out of season until further notice, man. All right, until Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word come to pass. All right, and there's no more internet. There's no more There's no more pushing this word on YouTube. There's no more going out on the highways and byways. And the prophecies, the major prophecies, Jacob's trouble and all these different prophecies are actually happening. All right, so this is just an update on the article. You know, this is from an article called um, BabylonB.com. All right, and if you if you type in this exact words right here, um, California Christians must now register Bible as assault weapons, you'll find a lot of articles on this, okay? So, you know, just an update for you brothers, man. So, anyway, you know, watch out for this devil. You know, he's about to make moves. So, you know, just stay, you know, stay strong, man. You know, walk that narrow, straight path. And, you know, praying fast, all right? So with that, I'm going to say shalom to the elect.